Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be setting up this Bible cover that I picked up off of Amazon. I wanted a case for my Bible that I could take with me to church that kind of looked like a purse because what hap what was happening was my Bible basically was taking up my entire purse and that's all that I could fit in it. So I figured, well, I don't really need anything other than that. Um, so I wanted to get one that kind of opened so I could just have like just that one uh, thing to take with me. So like I said, I got this from Amazon. So we are going to go ahead and open it up. They had a bunch of different colors. It was fairly inexpensive. I believe it was maybe $22. So we're going to see what it looks like. I couldn't tell from the description if it came with tabs. Um, on the back of the box, it has this right here. So you can cut these out and then there's two bookmarks. Um, I'll probably cut those out for my daughter. She can use those as bookmarks in her little Bible. So here's the box. We're going to go ahead and open it up and try to get it set up for church. So this is the pattern that I chose and it is... The background is kind of in between an off-white and a peach. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell. So anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. So it looks like there's a front pocket. Just a plain front pocket. And I have my notebook, which is about the size of an A5, so you can see. So it's about the size of an A5, so it would definitely fit a planner in the front if you needed it to. Then on the back, it has a sleeve if you want to take this with you um, and use it as a laptop cover or something like that with a suitcase. It has a zipper pocket right there. Actually, we'll yeah, leave these open. Okay, now let's open this up. We have two straps right here. It's the back of the strap and the front. Okay, now from online, it looks like this completely opened up. So let's go ahead and unzip it because I didn't want a cover that was just the handles. I wanted one that had the shoulder strap. So when I drop my girls off at Sunday school, um, it's one less thing I have to like physically hold in my hand. Okay. So here is the inside. So let's start with this side. So this had some cool features. That's why I chose this one. So here's our shoulder strap. So we'll go ahead and take this out for now. Then we have a zipper pocket right here that has mesh. And I think some of these come out. Let me see if this one does. Okay, so this has Velcro. Here we go. So you can physically take this out. Oh, so this is double-sided. Okay, so you have a mesh pocket on the front and on the back. So we'll take that out. That's where the Velcro goes. Got a pocket, another Velcro pocket here. It's a really big size. Okay, now let's move to the middle portion. So inside, oh, it did come with things. Okay, so we've got some highlighters. Then we have, oh, there are Bible tabs. Okay, we've got Bible tabs. Um, and I'll probably gift these to someone because I already have some tabs. Then this middle piece has a mesh pocket right here. And this is where online where your Bible goes. So then there's a the mesh pocket on the back, front and back as well. Velcro, Velcro closure, and then it opens up. Then you have your ribbon. So I guess this is, will be upside down, but if it's Velcro, we can just take it out. So this was really interesting. I hadn't seen this before. So this actually comes out. I don't think that I would do this um, like during a sermon, but if you were uh, teaching Sunday school or small group, this would probably be really helpful. So this totally pops out. And then there are five ribbons here. Okay, there's your Velcro. So this is the other side. So we have two mesh pockets, a flush pocket right here, 
larger holder that would probably fit um, all the highlighters. One, two, three pen slots, another zippered pocket up here. Then more Velcro to open up. So another spot right there. Wow, this really has a lot of space in it. You can definitely fit notes, a planner, um, like a sermon pamphlet, really anything that you wanted in here. So this is a lot of space. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put this together with what I think I will probably need. Um, let's go ahead and put this back in because I don't think I'm gonna be using this right now. But let's put this back in. Like I said, this is from Amazon. They had a bunch of different patterns. Some of them were actually back ordered or out of stock until the end of July. So I think this must be popular. Um, I just searched Bible cover purse and that's what came up. So let's put this back in. Okay, so the Bible that I usually bring with me is this one. This is the She Reads Truth. The reason I bring it um, is because it has lots of space to take notes. And all the books of the Bible have uh, a thumb index, so it's really easy to flip through. Um, and that has just a little bit. It's not a study Bible, but it does have some little articles in here. And then at the beginning of each book, it has um, <clears throat> a, just a little bit of information. So not too much that I can't just, uh, it's, it's easy for me to quickly read um, before the sermon starts if I know what book we're gonna be in. So I'm gonna bring this one and let's see, this is amazing that there's this many ribbons. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these in probably because I, don't think I'm gonna need them right now and let's see if we can get this in and this is a pretty thick Bible as you can tell it's not a slim line it's just regular Bible let's see here I feel like I'm putting on a planner cover Oops, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Okay. All right, so we're going to get that in. So it lays right in the middle. Okay. Now, definitely want to Velcro this so it doesn't just, the whole thing doesn't fall out, I'm guessing. All right, so the Bible is in. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. So it's totally in there base on each side still. All right, so on this side, I'm gonna add a few things. I like to use erasable pens. These are the uh, Frixon just erasables. So I'll probably use, let's put a, um, this one is an 05, so this is like a fine tip. I do prefer these, so I think I'm going to put, let me see if this will go all the way down. We'll put a purple one in and a red one. And then for highlighters, I like to use these at home. It's just the pastel Bic Bright Liner. But I think I'm going to take with me... I do like these Mr. Pen sleek gel highlighters, but sometimes they um, they kind of feel like a crayon. So that's the tip. If you get too much, it's gonna kind of smear. So I don't think I'm gonna bring those. I might just bring some mild liners because those are the easiest. Um, let me see. I mean, I guess either way, I'm gonna have a cap with them. Um, I did want to bring these two bookmarks because I thought they were pretty. Um, these are both from Emily Cromwell Designs. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in right here. So those are going to be in. And I also have, I might bring these. These are erasable highlighters also. 
I like these, but sometimes they kind of make the text kind of cloudy. So I'll just, let's try those out. So I'm gonna bring green and let's bring pink. Just bring two. And then I don't think I'm gonna need any other like tabs or anything because I can take notes just right there. So let's go ahead and put these right on in. All right, so we've got two pens, two bookmarks, two highlighters. This already has the thumb index. I'm trying to think what else I would need. Um, I can definitely fit my phone in here, so I'll put my phone in the front pocket. Put that on silent, any keys, the girl's Sunday school tags can also fit in there. I think that might be it. I think that's it. I think we're all set. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck in. I've got these two uh, little ribbons. I'm going to make sure those are tucked in. And then we are going to zip this up and then add the shoulder strap. And I think we're going to be ready to go. This is the brand right here. It's D-E-R-S-T-U-E-W-E. -E -E. That's the brand on Amazon. So we're gonna zip this closed. All right, now let's add the shoulder strap and then I think we should be good to go. This is adjustable. So just adjust it a little bit. I think that'll be good because I don't want it to go down too low. So let's clip each of these on. One side, oops, and the other. All right, I think we are all set. So that's an overview. I will keep you guys updated about how it is going. I'll probably do an update video in a couple of months and I'll tell you if I have switched out any supplies, what is working, what's not. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Um, please leave all comments um, in the comment section if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a whole playlist about Bible study videos um, and I have some free printables available on my website. You don't have to insert your email. It's just an instant download. Um, subscribe if you enjoy planner and Bible related content and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!